SCP-166 is called the Teenage Succubus. <laughs> There's so much wrong with that in itself because, I mean, if you think about it for a minute, predatory behaviors in the news that make headlines are usually older men and younger women. You know what I mean? That's, that's the typical, that's the cliche thing that happens. SCP Animated is going to take us through it and uh, the first few seconds of the video, I know your favorite SCP animated character is narrating the beginning of this video. I did a poll a little while back and Dr. Buck was a resounding favorite as characters in these episodes. But all the characters are really great and we're going to react to this one today, guys. Make sure to subscribe to SCP Animated and let's get into this reaction. Research lead, Dr. A. Buck. Time redacted. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Buck. <laughs> Today we are going Hello, to Dr. be discussing SCP-166, otherwise known as Teenage Succubus. SCP-166 okay. is a European antlers. female human in its late teens oh. with ungulate features, like. possessing antlers, hooved feet, and a short like a tail satyr? reminiscent of Rangifer Tyrandis, more commonly referred to by the colloquial term reindeer. Reindeer, okay. Despite these obvious abnormalities, DNA analysis reveals no abnormal genetic traits. Okay. SCP-166 is contained in biocontainment zone C at site 19, right. which has been modified to include a hermetically sealed antechamber and an industrial strength air purifier. She's so technical. Containment staff <laughs> must wear the specifically designated 166 biohazard suits at all times when inside SCP-166's containment area. Air Due to SCP-166's unique physiological needs, uh, a variety of loose-fitting organic cotton clothing has been provided to be <laughs> rotated monthly. All so, meals are to be cooked so according to the guidelines too, uh, provided with as little inorganic additives as possible. Okay. Reasonable requests for personal items and modifications to the containment suite must be approved personally by Site Director Light. Okay. To date, SCP-166 has been granted the following items requested. A copy of the Holy Bible, Douay Reims Chaloner Revision. All right. A Catholic Rosary. Access to a Catholic so priest Catholic. for confession, mass, and other sacraments. Chaplain Davis has been scheduled to meet with SCP-166 on alternating Sundays huh? after a thorough decontamination process, and various books and magazines, mostly religious in nature. Okay, so SCP she's religious. SCP-166 is a destructive yet nonviolent force. Okay. Within a 15-meter radius exactly of SCP-166, artificial objects gradually return to an unworked state. Ooh. Higher complexity objects like electronics or vehicles are affected quicker, with degradation of their metallic components causing catastrophic structural failure in wow. a matter of hours. Rudimentary materials, such as stone buildings like or products made of organic materials, <laughs> decay at a virtually imperceptible rate. Dang. Within the same radius, plant life will begin to sprout, often growing in improbable places such as out of security cameras or ID scanners. So it's decay as well. SCP-166 possesses a possibly growth. anomalous sensitivity to artificial material and pollutants, with inhalation or contact causing pressure ulcers and symptoms oh. of acute asthma attacks. So it's not to protect In one case, other people, physical proximity to, to a smoker her, caused SCP-166 to undergo a severe asthma attack, even wow. though the doctor at the time had not smoked for three so weeks. So that's why it can't be added. SCP-166 was discovered at the Our Lady of Mercy. Mercy Convent in County Galway, Ireland, where it had lived yeah. since infancy. Oh. It was confirmed by a defecting Global Occult Coalition agent to be the child <laughs> of threat entity 9927 Black, the goddess, also known as SCP-4231-A, who was terminated by a GOC strike team in what would be known as the Cornwall Incident. Okay. The GOC I've description of, of SCP-166 is as follows. Okay. <clears throat> Threat entity <laughs> is the child of incarnated LTE-9927 Black, the goddess, yeah. and an unknown father. 
While it strongly resembles its mother and shares its animalistic features, it sure. lacks the extreme bestial appearance of 9927 Black. So she's it a possesses more human. minor chlorokinetic abilities, but primary reason for threat entity classification is the instinctive knowledge and eligibility to enact occult procedure clockwork Black Child Havila, a worldwide <laughs> ritual working that would irreversibly regress human civilization to Neolithic status. Standards. Holy crap! Strike Team Lancelot <laughs> neutralized 9927 Black in England during an operation which farm. would later be known as the infamous Cornwall Incident. But okay. were unable to confirm the liquidation of 9927 Black Child due to the death of the strike leader, Agent Ukulele. So Ukulele was posthumously was awarded destroyed? the Silver Aegis for his lifelong service to humanity. As many of you already know, Agent Ukulele is none other than the Foundation's own Dr. Clef. Before ah, Clef's defection, he was able to smuggle Dr. SCP-166 into a Catholic convent in County Galway, See, Ireland. It lived Dr. there Clef. until we the age of 12, though. at which point a visitor to the convent accidentally witnessed SCP-166 and reported it to authorities. Uh, okay. The agent then contacted the Foundation, agreeing to share GOC intelligence in return for the guaranteed safety and containment of SCP-166. Gotcha. The following is an excerpt the from GLC one of SCP-166's many it. scheduled I'll conversations info, with Chaplain Davis. Good morning, child. Good morning, father. Okay. As usual, I have to remind you that due to our environment, the seal of confession will not take place unless specifically invoked. Even then, details of our conversation can be unsealed if they're determined to be essential. Understand? All right. Mm-hmm. So he can give Excellent. information. Now. How are you doing? Normally, Catholic priests can't good. Won't reveal One of the staff told me about Benedict yesterday. Is that true? Ah, yes, that was rather unfortunate. But it does make sense. He was rather old, even when he first took up the position. Now he can rest, knowing he served the church well. I guess so. I'm sensing a question She's arising, little... child. What is it? Irish? It's just. I wanted to ask you something, though it might be a little personal. I was just wondering, do you, do you have a good relationship with your parents? My mother, yes, before she passed away. I visited her once a she month at the retirement home, normal. plus her birthday and holidays. No. Told her I was a chaplain Regular. serving in the military, which I suppose is somewhat close to the truth. And your father? That is a rather more complicated question. <laughs> he was a good man, a soldier, who had three things dearly, God, country, and family. Uh. Unfortunately, he held those convictions rather severely, which resulted in some heated discussions. Uh -oh. I love him still, but this way is best for everyone. Yeah. And what about your parents? I know you lived in the convent, but before that... I never really knew them. I got dropped off when I was a baby. Dropped I mean, off. I guess they must have known the sisters if they put me there, but I don't remember them. They are just what I picked huh. up. Now they mentioned my I mother a bit the before they realized they should watch what they say about me. <laughs> I think they said something about her being a goddess, Maybe she knew she which was obviously a wouldn't be true. Targeted. She must have been some sort of spirit, but oof, she must have been something if I ended up looking like this. Exactly, you got antlers, woman. I remember <laughs> eavesdropping on the abbess. She was talking to one of the other sisters about how she'd done something wrong. Something about a ritual that someone else stopped. Uh... Mm. They said she died. Sorry for your loss. It's not like I knew her. Weird. And your father? I don't know. He must have been the one who dropped me off at the convent, but why there? Uh, her why didn't he did. take me with him? I'm sure he had his reasons. Right. Maybe. Knowing who or what you know, he was, they never talked about him. Not once. Give us more I must have idea. asked the abbess a thousand times, but she never mentioned a hint of him. Also, if he was human, what were you doing? Your mother with was a... so horrible. <laughs> what an anomaly. What did my father Just fall do? Fall in love with a deer? You know? On I mean, May 8th, 2013, the following <laughs> note was discovered within SCP 166's containment area. Whatever, I first met your mother when we were little more than children. Okay. She had hooves for feet, oh. starlight in her eyes. She was beauty and nature incarnate. And I killed her with uh, my own two hands. So they, they said that she was much Eden more Eden isn't a place. It's a state of being. 
they wanted to take us back to it, and I stopped them. I took paradise away from us for a second time. Oh. I have never regretted my actions on that day, except one. That when you first met me on that day, you saw your father put a bullet into the head of your mother. I make no excuses, only explanation. You may not have even remembered it, but I'm telling you now in the hope you understand why I did what I did. I hope you forgive me. All right. Tell, I us, love you. tell us what's going on. I wish I could have done more for you. The best I could do was leave you in the hands of kind and loving people and hope they would raise you in my place. From what I've seen, they did well. I'm sorry you couldn't stay with them. I'm sorry they brought you to this place. I promise to do my best to make sure your stay here is pleasant. So I promise to keep you safe. What the heck? Happy 16th birthday from your loving father. What? Why did... While I have I my own <laughs> suspicions of who the father of SCP-166 is, you, I dare not comment on it due to the Foundation's reluctance to publish any documentation on the matter. Make no mistake, <laughs> SCP-166's we'll degenerative you. nature, it is capable of undoing centuries worth of mechanical and technological advancements. Right. But what might be even it's scarier dangerous. is the mysterious and potentially divine nature of her lineage. Okay. The fact that her mother Here is a was... previously redacted article about the disciplinary action of an unnamed Foundation employee. Okay. What the hell were you thinking? Huh. I wanted to make sure that's she's alright. You wouldn't let me talk to her. And that's the dad, I took I guess. another route. What you did was so much worse than that. If you just stuck to throwing your weight around to get her amenities, sure, oh. I could overlook that. But you then go about trying to give a Class 4 anomaly a phone Wait. line to the outside world? I mean, the council same already dislikes voice. you working at the same site as her. If this gets oh. out, you can kiss whatever deal you made goodbye. Was that the GOC? Come on, Sophia, she's harmless. The, the only reason she's in there oh, is wait, because wait, wait, of wait. me. I had to do something. He's the Was GOC. the foundation just gonna let her grow up thinking that her? Rogue. Before you say another Agent. word, remember that this will be public to what everyone with the Class 4 clearance. To? I can redact your name. But I can't stop people from putting the pieces together from an ill-timed outburst. Uh, we just 16 did. Sixteen years. Sixteen years yeah. where she couldn't walk through a city or catch a movie or just go shopping. Doesn't matter if she's in the convent or a foundation cell. She's being locked up for something she had no choice in. She All was, because of me. It would be a It isn't fair. I know. And I can't do anything about it. I could send a strike team anywhere in the world. I know secrets that the most powerful so people in the world will pay billions for, and yet I can't even so much as talk to her, let her know that she's not alone. You've done the best you could, much more than anyone could have expected of you in an impossible situation. Funny how little that makes of a difference. Yeah. You know, I don't care. Just write me up. Let's just get this over with. I'm scheduling you huh. for six two-hour sessions with the Foundation Psychologist. I'll make sure it's Glass. He signs off at the end of it. We can expunge so this from your record. So he's a double agent. Thank you, Sophia. He's a double agent. He's GOC and Foundation employee. Which is strange. He's the one that put her in captivity because he wanted to see her cared for. I guess in light of the fact that the nuns of the church didn't have much more uh, say so over what she, what would what would stop her anomalous behaviors I don't know it's kind of weird I would think being that she was a succubus <laughs> that she would have lured women lured men into danger and stuff but honestly she just sucks the life out of everything around her not just people I don't know it's pretty interesting man Guys, SCP Animated, Tales from the Foundation. Make sure to subscribe to him, as well as a couple other reaction videos that I've done. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. We'll see you next time.